So, two years ago, I was taking care of my rat and uh, baby ducklings. I know it's my hamster. They seemed kind of groggy. I thought maybe she wasn't getting to sleep because the ducklings were the old guinea pig cage in the room and they're chirping all the time. Yesterday morning, I thought my hamster was dead. She was cold. She was up in the ramp. Later in the afternoon, I go in and get her out the barrier after buying a little container from a dollar store. And she looks up at me. I'm holding her. She's cold as a corpse, but she's looking at me. And she's able to move her feet. I was completely shocked that she was alive. Um, and I checked her out on for her inspection. She was a pretty much a gelatinous ball of goo. See, she was a, a teddy bear hamster. She wasn't using her wheel. So, um, she's kind of blubbery. Kind of like this dog here. No, worse than that dog. But she was, you know, she was cold, but she was alive. It was just weird. And I checked in her, uh, her top teeth were kind of broken. And the bottom ones were a little too long. Now I give her wood chewies regularly, and she stores them in her little nest. Probably what she was doing with her food. So I thought she was eating it. You know, so I was probably overfeeding her. But I had this hamster for more than two years now. So, you know, she's more than lived her life expectancy. Hamsters aren't supposed to really live three years. Her name was Honey. She's kind of an orange color. I looked at her this morning and I'm sure she's probably dead. She seemed to be dead. So I'll probably bury her today. Or tomorrow. <sighs> it's really hard you know, to deal with this. She's a sweet little hamster. I pet her. I try to pet her on the head sometimes. You know, I picked her up one time and she tried to bite me, but her teeth were a little on the long side at the time. So I put her back in the cage. This was a while back. I'll get these two in the house. Anyway, it was sad. I was holding her last yesterday, and I don't know. I don't think I, even if I took her to bed, they'd have been able to save her. I don't think so. Plus, they were closed at the time. The emergency is out of town. I didn't spend all that money, and uh, you know. Or die, not be able to save her because, you know, I don't know. It was heartbreaking. I was saying my goodbyes to her for a while before I went out and take care of the goats. And then I checked in on her later before I left for work. And she was warm. You know, I put her back in the wood shavers and she was warm. But, uh, Hopefully she died, you know, being somewhat comfortable, warm. I tried to give her water earlier, provide a bottle, and she didn't have the energy to do anything. So I kind of put some in her mouth. Maybe that sustained her long enough to, you know, keep her around until the end of the day. But it was very heartbreaking. I can share with you how I... I'm not ashamed to admit it. I cried like a baby. That pains me to see an animal suffer that way. But then again, I don't know. She was probably not in any pain because she was on the way out. But to not be able to do anything because it would be too late, it's just upsetting. Well, come on. 
I'm gonna bury her sometime today. She's not in any pain anymore. Said our goodbyes yesterday. I got this dog in the house and go about my business. But rest in peace, honey. You were a good hamster. Come on, Wiener. Let's go in the house. Come on. Let's go. Let's go in the house. Come on.